Is that a dead spider? Get off! <laughs> Hello guys! Just a quick update. I finished editing the studio vlog that is going up next week. I also uploaded a video today, organizing my art studio. So by the time you guys watch this, it'll already be out. I didn't get to go out. Oop, there's the dog goes. I didn't get to go outside yesterday. Okay, try one more time. <laughs> All right. Never mind. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know if I'll be able to watch New Girl while this freaking video uploads. <gasps> it's playing in real time!
vlog, just eating ice cream. <laughs> Let me fix my sour. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long are we gonna wait for that irresponsible kid anyway? Delayed leaving means delayed returning. That settles it. Let's be on our way. <laughs> what time is it? What the heck, Mom? It's around. We're at 10. You gotta help us get out. Who's that? Come on. It's not the same, though. But Pichu! <laughs> Bro, seriously, what? Like, why? Like, but there's no point in leaving, bro. Come on! <laughs> I don't understand why he's leaving. He's so For what? Carrying the little weight that he is? <laughs> Come on! I think this is supposed to be like the birth story of Pikachu. Oh. Like, no, why are you leaving? I don't I get it. I guess he's like a he's like a big kid now. He needs to go on his own. Goodbyes, although not easy, can lead to brand new happy hellos. Oh my gosh. They've had many adventures. What the hell did you skip the best story, bro? You know the story of like how they like became friends? No. Dude, that's like the best thing. I think it's like the first episode. What are you doing, 10 year old? Yeah, thanks a lot! Take care! No. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what to do that. And there it goes. everyone, voiceover Caitlin here. I grew up on Pokemon, so of course I had to give my two cents on this new Pokemon series, Pokemon Journeys on Netflix. As you can tell, I was very invested, and although it is of course not the original, I give it props for being entertaining. And yes, I am that person that makes commentary on shows and movies in group settings. But I digress. I thought I would take this time with me drawing to share with you all my art journey leading up to this point. For as long as I can remember, I drew. And colored and filmed and did many other things within the creative space. I still remember drawing Pokemon with my best friend in our wide line notebooks in elementary school. Somewhere along the way, about when high school was nearing its end, I stopped drawing as much and only remember doodling once or twice in a boring class in college. Towards the end of college, I began stretching myself back into the things that made me happy and made me feel like me. I also wanted to create my own future and eventually own my own business, which meant I needed to take things into my own hands. That's when YouTube came back into my world as a creative outlet. It felt so good to put my love and care into something meaningful to me. Since the beginning of this year, I've been struggling with what I'm going to do as my quote unquote placeholder until I can make doing what I love my job. I felt little to no excitement and interest in the field I got my degree in. For hours, I would search for jobs on the internet and either feel disinterested and or inadequate. Despite having my degree, I felt like my skills and experience didn't match for the jobs that were available to me. With my self-esteem low, I felt like I was in a box. A reminder and disclaimer that I'm very grateful and privileged to have been able to even go to college in the first place and get a degree. It was my own lack of courage at the time that led me to get a degree in something that didn't bring me joy. But that is a story for another time. I tried to remember all the things I was good at and what jobs matched up with those things. At first, I thought I could do freelance video editing. But while I love and sometimes hate editing, I couldn't imagine editing more than I already do. Then, the wonderful self-employed artist named Cheyenne Barton brought freelance illustration to my world. I was already a fan of her for a good minute, but post-college existential crisis and my determination to do what I love finally put two and two together. I was hesitant to start because I felt like I needed to be a pro at the drawing basics like anatomy and perspective, but I've learned the only way to start is to start. It sounds so simple, but I've spent years of my life not starting things because of quote-unquote life and whatever other excuses I've made in my head. With a little extra push from loved ones, I started. And now we are here, learning digital illustration on my little sister's school iPad, 
continuing to make YouTube videos I enjoy and growing every day. I spent a lot of time worrying about what others thought of me and pleasing everyone but myself. Once I stopped focusing on what others thought of me and shifted the focus onto creating my best work, I have felt so free. My self-esteem and confidence are very thankful for the healthier mindset. If you are in that mindset of fear and worry about anything that you're passionate about, I encourage you to just start. It could be one small step every day. If you're like me, it could be making a play-by-play to-do list. It could be researching one thing about what you love. Or it could be starting an online class. Whatever brings you just a bit closer, it all adds up over time. I'm so proud of you for being you, human and all. I love you. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. If you are confused why I'm watering what looks like empty pots, it is because I am propagating my little succulent friend here. I didn't film too much today because I left the house for the second time since quarantine today. I had dinner with my dad at a family friend's house and it was really nice. They have a very, very adorable baby and we became very good friends and it made me so happy. It was awesome. At night, I hung out with my sister and that's pretty much it. I tend to work the majority of the day every day, so it was nice to take a break and spend time with my family. Since I didn't film the next couple days, here's a little recap. Sunday, June 21st, was Father's Day. We got yummy acai, drove through Garden of the Gods, had pho, which was very tasty, and I binged Back to the Future with my sister that night. That was my first time actually watching those movies, and the first one is the best, in my opinion. If you are not uncultured like me and have already watched these movies, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Monday, June 22nd, I finally finished this artwork of me and my boyfriend at this yummy saucer place in Colorado Springs. I miss what summer used to feel like, so I drew one of the happiest days of summer from last year. I don't know why I picked such a complex reference when I'm just starting digital illustration, but I have learned a lot from this experience. I have been feeling pressure to roll out artwork frequently, which goes back to that worry about what others think. I have to keep reminding myself there's no point in putting out work that was rushed and that I'm on my own path and pace. I started and basically finished my first draw this in your style challenge. I tried out new brushes and I'm really happy with how this one turned out. While working on this I also started rewatching one piece with my dad so it was a very good day. I finished organizing all these art and stationery supplies, I filmed b-roll for my stationery haul video, which was last week's video, and started doing research on artwork commissions. Thursday, June 25th, the last day of the week, I finally reordered my journal mile liners that I didn't get to show in last week's haul because they got lost. They finally came in on the 29th, so you guys will see them very soon. I basically spent all day making a whole ass website and it was so much work, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. I will share it with you all when I am ready to start taking commissions. I hope you all enjoyed my second studio vlog. It has been a lot of fun documenting my life and sharing with you all the process of my work. Before I go, I want to say thank you so much for spending this time with me. I am very grateful and appreciative for any time you take out of your day to hang out with me. A reminder that you are loved, just as you are. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!